Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, just thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. You've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And um, if you feel like the videos just really just give good vibes that you would love to share with someone, that, you know, just give them some vibes too, please do that for me. <laughs> it's greatly appreciated. So, um, and hopefully they'll be able to vibe off of it too. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um the video i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey okas at some cost loss leads you to a new world of opportunity to create your own version of abundance you know you're, you're finding all your own version of abundance on you know when it's a loss of a relationship a loss of a job um a death of a loved one, you know, and even though you have like, how are you going to have abundance out of that? I'm not happy that somebody died. And it's not even about that. And I'll, let me go ahead and emphasize on what I'm talking about because I don't want nobody to ever feel like death is something, you know, there it can go deep line on that, but I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. But it, it can be when you have a loss of a loved one, you know, it can be very tragic in your life. But they are allowing ourselves they took that 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 oath to say you know what since i'm no longer in the living i'm gonna be in the spirit realm i'm gonna be their spirit guide i'm gonna help them get through this and you know i'm gonna help them heal i'm gonna bring things to light that's where your 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 amount you your own creation of abundance is coming in because it's showing you where you needed to heal it was able to show you different things that you may have been blinded by because you were in your feelings you were still going through a grief you were still going through a pain um and these are the things you had to heal from in different ways who that was loud um that you had to be able to go through that's where you're creating your own version of abundance you know uh where your strength is where your weaknesses are where you're creating a healing you know a healing uh process not a healing mechanism well yeah a healing mechanism on showing you how to create your uh create a weakness um to turn into a strength you know a lot of times you just don't know how powerful you are your weaknesses may overpower and, and trump over over the you know the, the the strength you already have so you're creating that so if you're going through like a love loss and it's showing you okay everything that brought you through the table not just with the current one that you had lost but ones going all the way further back you know and a lot of times that we go through failed relationships we'll be wishing i never met that person if i didn't it would have brought me a railroad of drama trauma and this and this and that but you can't really say that you have to be you know very grateful for those like rosin what are you talking about be grateful for those toxic relationships those bad ones those good ones all of them are wrapped in the same one and we always have to see it is in that way and it's like how are you going to do that because all the life lessons that came from those relationships whether it was something that y'all just grew out of love with or that person you know you couldn't deal with long long distance relationships you know all those different things but it was helping you have that better relationship with yourself you know a lot of times you can see different things from you know uh from family members where where you can see the toxicity was coming in and sometimes it's hard you you feel it within yourself but you you know sometimes it's hard for us you know pride or a lack of you know uh, when we're attached you know um it can make us feel like we can't get anything better than that person or they may see my scars you know there's sometimes people like oh if they you know you leave me they're gonna see everything about you and they're not gonna want to be with you they do that control stuff so it's just like when you have allowed yourself to finally get out of that which is a blessing within itself when you can get out of a toxic relationship because not everybody make it out of those you know but you're allowing yourself to you know get through that you're creating your own you know personal spiritual abundance you know you're allowing yourself you it may end up being an advocate for somebody that has gone through something like that and you and when you knew it how hard it was for you to rehabilitate yourself how you had to scrape from the bottom of the barrel end up coming up and you end up being very successful you know something like that 
and then you're creating your own abundance but then you're an advocate you know you're an advocate and you're you're um i forgot what they call that oh i forgot uh ambassador it's like you know an advocate an ambassador of like domestic violence you're you're you know you can go from different places if you want to be a motivational speaker you know saying that you even lost a job or just gave an example of that and you've been through a domestic you know type situation where it was very toxic and then you lost your job i mean when i say god be working through moves moves and he'll knock everything out your life all at one time Ugh. you know and this is just like how am i supposed to live i was already in a toxic situation now i lost my job and this and this and that how am i supposed to do this and he's like i got a plan for you this is like this loss is going to create something better you know um it is opening up a new world for you of different opportunities opening up new doors for you yes i put you in this relationship because i needed you to learn what you are lacking already in that i need you to place in yourself and i mean you to need to be solid about that yes i had to have you go through this where you know this person programmed you in a certain way where you didn't see your worth you thought people were going to you know judge you from the things that you have gone through all those different horrible things that you may have gone through in that certain situation that rocked you in some kind of way that you you know God finally allowed you to break free of that and then when he allowed you to break free you're going through that whole real rehabilitation of you know healing yourself trying to allow yourself to make it on your own because a lot of times you see situations where people have been in that type of environment like you know there's some people that marry early just to get out their house or some of them are arranged marriages you know different stuff like that and then this is all they knew they probably didn't have any kind of education they probably didn't have any kind of uh, employment background to fall on and you know stuff stuff like that you may have known somebody who was in a situation like that you didn't have to be in that per, per se but you have known somebody in that and then it's like when you went through that sequence of you know putting yourself together like you know I never want to feel like this you know if anybody get in this situation I want to let, let them you know I want to help them get out of that situation teach them the things that I had to learn through my emotional healing being able to break free of that you know dissolving all my de demons that kept me in that control um, atmosphere and then when you're doing that God's like okay they're seeing it they're working on it they're moving I'm so proud of them and they're going through this yes they know it wasn't easy but I I had to make them this situation be very beneficial for them from every direction on that I couldn't have anything really easy because I wanted them to be grateful for the things that I'm teaching them through their experience of trauma through their experience of healing it's allowing me to love myself It's allowing me to have better you know choices on what I choose to deal with you know allowing myself to not jump into the first thing that sounds good to me um, allowing myself to really you know have better standards you know make better choices for myself you know you may have children in your life so it's like you're not going you're not the only thing thing that's the only one going through rehabilitation rehabilitation your children are too because it's a 50 50 chance they you've been they've been exposed to the things that you went through in your relationship so to kind of program them too as well so it's going to be a whole new balance you know it's already hard for adults and to think about how it is for children they're really trying to understand this has been normalized to them so you about to reroute them and, and I mean that's going to be a whole journey within itself you know I've, I've seen a lot of people that went through that I experienced a lot of it myself you know so it will be different things like that where it's creating you to be your own advocate your own ambassador for different things like that and it's showing you okay I'm going to have you you know I want you know God say that God Pat you know put you in a situation where you're going to be minty you're going to be a minty towards everybody a mentor towards everybody on that has gone through a certain situation like that and then it's just like it, you lost a job but this was actually creating you to start your own foundation of what you can do with your situation just from you been in, being in a dv relationship a dv experience so when you're going through those different things you 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 got the you know you got the means like 
if you got that blessing where you know people that know people like hey i'm trying to get this together and since that you know that is going worldwide that this is heavy you hear about people going through this type of situation all the time there's people in sh battering battering shelters and you know different stuff like that and you're trying to say i know what this feels like i've got the rough end of the stick i've been through that the trenches of the situation but i want to be able to help people overcome this and when i'm helping people overcoming this i'm doing it myself and then when I can allow myself to get there and achieve that and come over next to you know there's so many people that I can come they'll come across they really are trying to find guidance for that because a lot of times like y'all have heard me say if you've been with me a while when I look at my situation I said why did this have to happen to me and then there's a lot of times where God told me this is not, even though this was directed towards you, my child, you know, this it made you feel like this was so personal against you. Like, why would you allow me to go through these things? But it was the path that I set for you on the people you're going to come to me. You're overcoming a lot of different things that people have not yet come over. There's a lot of people that have overcome a lot of things that you have not overcome. Or there'll be some things that I'm learning, you're learning through yourself, and you're using this as a teaching that is going to help other people, which is going to, you know, validate whatever they're going through, and they're trying to make sense of that, and it's going to be vice versa. You know, it's a student-teacher situation. So it is just like when you're going through those different things, there's so many things that you have to be able to recover from you know um you have trust issues you know you have abandonment issues resentment all these different things is taking place where you're you're trying to allow yourself to heal from and that mess is not easy to do but this is something that is creating within yourself that even though you may have lost something is going to be replaced with something so much better if you know you're at a job that really just sucks the life out of you you're getting subordinate write-ups like left and right you got you know um you got uh people that are working that ain't really working is passing their jobs off maybe to you or somebody else and they see you know when you say you know what i'm about to lay lay it like today i've been working hard two weeks and i just want to just chill the first time that your butt take it easy even though that's something that some people do all the time but they feel like you don't need to do all of a sudden they oh what are you doing this and this and that why are you laying down? I mean, not laying down today, but why are you slacking on whatever? Knowing you probably had paperwork that was like stacked all the way high and you finally got over the hump. You know, and you actually two weeks, you know, two weeks above, you know, uh, uh, ahead of schedule. And you just want to chill today. Like, shoot. I'm chilling today. This is one of my dad on lay back, you know, lay back days or whatever. And they never, they never criticize anybody else that lay back, don't barely, you know, don't do the job, ain't even acting like, you know, how did they get this job? Like, how do they pay you to still stay at the job when you ain't even doing it? You know, um, the job doing more of a job is with itself than the, the person that's being paid for the job. I'm like, the job is doing the own job for itself. But, you know, and then the next thing you know, you, the day you take it easy, that's when all of a sudden stuff want to come all up in your face or whatever. And then it, it's just like you're miserable there. And there is just so many different things. You may be on your side of time where it just uplifts you just to jot down different things that you want to do in life. Or, you know, there's so many different visions that's coming to you that what you dream of creating. And then God is always telling you, universe is always telling you, if I instill that into your mind, you can create it within your reality. It's just up to you. It's already there, but you're, I'm needing you to get into that alignment to receive that. That door of abundance can open up for you, but you had to work for that. And these are the different things things he's telling you even though you lost something even though you lost something that is creating something for you to build up for better so allow yourself to keep building you're creating that strong foundation within yourself it may take a minute but if it take a minute it's going to bring you into a beautiful moment so they're allowing you to keep, go go ahead and keep going you know it, it could be right around the corner you just really never know even though you may be hearing that mess like where is this corner at you never know you just really never know where that moment is is coming from when it's going to occur but it's telling you allow yourself to be aggressive even through your tired moments allow yourself to keep moving use whatever is frustrating you whatever you fear whatever you doubt use that as fuel to keep being continuous with being continuous and consistent within yourself those are always the tool to be able to use to keep going further than you ever did before 
So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. Like I said before, I'm going to go ahead. I forgot to mention it in my last video, but this is my next one. I'm going to go ahead and have a live chat tonight at 745. So hopefully you'll be able to connect with me then. It's like almost 3 o'clock here. So it'll be a couple of hours, like probably four hours and some change. So you can be able to, uh, you know, connect with me. It's going to be on different things. You know, we had the 22222 portal just recently happened. So we're going through all those different things. So it'll be different subjects to be talking about that um that uh is that is taking place in your life that you may be curious about but um i would love to give a post notification shout out to um 910 uh doom much love to you welcome to the fam mr wonderful welcome to the fam it's good to have you timber wolf much love and s harris much love to you as well um thank you for watching the videos and i truly appreciate you for your support is truly truly appreciated i'll leave all my contact information in um the description box below and it's all about uh spiritual networking you know um getting you towards a deeper understanding of your purpose you know uh, a lot of people share their experiences with me um and asking me my insight or my input about it and i try my best to be able to break it down and explain uh either through my experience or what you know universe gives me to relate to you in that matter and um or different things that you may have uh, questions or guidance about and I, you know I try my best to do that as well as help you get a deeper understanding that whatever we're speaking on is confidential um, and I'll help you out in the best way possible and I'll also leave my um, contact information uh, under my contact information I'll leave my, my podcast link as well that I have a podcast uh, show on uh, Spotify as well that you may be able to um, you know you may be able to appreciate it. it's just like this except you know it's on podcasting um and whatever you're manifesting in your you know whatever your many manies are placing into your life and you you know you've been going through a rough drought um and you know it just seems like things are not overturning for you keep going whatever you do keep going no matter what's taking place no matter what is being done to you keep going because the more you keep going, it's just going to really show you that God's going to reward you in ways that you never seen coming. And it's going to come sooner than you ever predicted it as well. So keep allowing yourself to be aggressive with yourself. Even if you got to psych your mind out and tell yourself different deck on things like, oh, you know, too many people. <laughs> you know, too many people hating on you is hoping you fail. There's too many daggone things that, are, you know, came into your life to make sure you stop. All those different things, if you got to place that in your mind to keep you, from, keep you going and being continuous with yourself, please do that. So even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, birds, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And I hope to be able to connect with you tonight at 745. Uh, it will be truly a blessing. Um, as well as, you know, being able to speak to y'all virtually and spiritually and connect with y'all in that way is truly a blessing to me. So I hope you have a blessed day. Please be responsible and safe for everything you do. Even through social distancing, please make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, wise frequencies. You never know. All those things that really take them a long way and also take you a long, long way as well. Much love to you. Peace. Namaste.